Okay, today I just want to look at one verse, verse 4, and it's it's really interesting. It's not something that um, probably most people know uh, in part of this ceremony of consecration of the priests. It said, present Aaron and his sons at the entrance of the tabernacle and wash them with water. Now, this wasn't just a ceremony for anyone in Israel. There were special consecration ceremonies available. Think about the Nazarite vow that's talked about in Numbers chapter 6. And uh, there's several places in the Bible we see this Nazarite vow, two of the most famous um, being Samson, and being John the Baptist. I think John the Baptist took a lifelong Nazarite vow as Samson did. But this ceremony was especially for the priests. And as I said, it was this was all carried out in Leviticus chapter 8. So you actually go to Leviticus chapter 8 and read that section about this as well. It was done at the entrance of the tabernacle. So this process didn't take place inside. It happened outside the door. Uh, because entering in was entering into the presence of God. Remember, as we talked about the tabernacle, um, it, it mimicked the temple in heaven. When you look at the symbols that were in there, the cherubim that were embroidered on the walls, all those kind of things, it really led you down that road. And so it says, and washed them with water. So this began with cleansing, right? Now, Aaron and his sons, I don't believe, washed themselves. I believe they received this washing. It really comes across to me that this was something that Moses did. And this had to be a humbling thing. You know, they, they had to be humble, humble in this situation. And it appears this was a one-time thing. Because after this, there is descriptions and talk of how they would wash their hands there was a basin that they would wash their hands and would even wash their feet before they entered the tabernacle, but would not wash the entire body. And, you know, this is interesting because this idea of washing, that's the imagery that is given of us in the New Testament being washed by the blood of Jesus and by the work of the Holy Spirit. And this is all accomplished by the death of Jesus for us, right? This is the idea of that cleansing. So this was a ceremonial cleansing. And I think this too has a lot of allusion to in symbolism that's going to take me over to the New Testament. So a lot of the things happening when the sacrificial system in the Old Testament and the worship in the Old Testament is fulfilled fully and completed in the New Testament. So very interesting stuff. You guys have a good day.